Hey guys, oh my god, so day one, Friday sleeping over, is done and dusted. Woo! My feet are killing me. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna limit my movement. I, I, I normally pull my costume apart when I'm recording a vlog, but I feel like I wanna do some TikToks. So I'm gonna do some TikToks before I pull all this off. I did like two this morning. Anyway, so, this afternoon was uh, 2019's, this bed's extremely high, it's soft but really high. Um, so today was 2019's Brisbane Supernova and I don't know but from my perspective I felt good to be back. I know this seems like a weird thing to say considering normally when I go to, to do something cosplay related I'm like meh cosplay. Yeah. But I don't know maybe... Maybe I'm looking at cosplay from a different perspective now. Because I'm a uni student and I'm being a film student, I can look at something and see it in a whole new light. So when I went to Supernova this afternoon, I was like, oh, convention, yay, cosplays, yay. Like I had fun, yay. So that was great. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so this afternoon, so it was great. I, I got to chat with a lot of people, see a lot of people. I managed to sing Green Jessica cosplay. Hello, darling. Oh my god, his cosplays are amazing. He's normally down in New South Wales, I think. But he came to Brisbane and, and I got to meet him. And I was so happy. I was like, ah. And then I feel like an idiot. I have a phone. I can Google this crap. And then, um, what's his name? Mum, ba, 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 ba. That's not his name. Yeah. And then Ozzy Boomerang, I was like, I don't want his real name, I want his username. Ozzy Boomerang um, messaged me um, and turns out we stayed in the same hotel. But I saw him this afternoon, like a couple of times, it was great. Talked to him for a bit. So I got to interact with a lot of people and it was like, it was as if I was experiencing cosplay for the first time. And I don't know, it just felt so great, it's so freeing. The only downfall is wearing stupid heels. Because I don't like stupid heels. These are painful. They're like a size and a half too big. And I'm pretty sure I now have blisters on the bottom of my feet. Which would not be the first time. I do not recommend wearing stockings and heels. A half a size too big. Ugh. Worst part is, this weekend is three days of high heels. No. I hate high heels. Why do they exist? Um, but yeah, I'm excited for my next two costumes. They're original <laughs> loosely um i had a lot of people come up to me though everyone was like oh my god i love your costume it's great are you captain hook um no captain hook has a hook as a hand i have no hooks on my hand i had to explain to people that i was pirate harley quinn and they're like oh cool i like a get up freaks <laughs> like I, I mean it's great that you're asking but I've got Quinn written down the side of my cheek. Doesn't that mean something? Anyway, so, excuse the awkward movement. I can't move in this thing. So, today was Friday and I got to meet two celebrities. Yes, two. Um, and so I was really excited and really happy because these two guys have been part of my life for God knows how long. And so the fact that I got to interact with them um, I got to interact with them even if it was for a few seconds was phenomenal I was like oh my god it's 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 amazing this is like the best thing ever since like ever <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my lanyard out of my hair it's got Billy Zane <laughs> actually it's got the phantom but it's the same thing um, as you can tell I'm a Billy Zane fan <laughs> <coughs> sorry being sick Oh, cosplaying is the worst thing in existence. Anyway, so this afternoon I met Mr. Denny Zuko himself. Not that one. John Travolta! <laughs> um, his line was like a Stan Lee line, but they were trying to push through it as quick as they could, which was like great that you're trying to get everyone out, but ah! it was chaotic and half, unfortunately half the volunteers didn't know what they were doing, which is really annoying, 
It's like, great! You guys are, are trying to do your job, but you're letting the people who bought cheap tickets through first instead of people who spend a fortune through first. <sighs> so that was my issue. But meeting John Travolta, oh, yeah, it's really funny. It would be easier to explain the movies that I haven't seen that are his. You know, I, oh, I've seen Michael, I've seen Wild Hugs, Look Who's Talking, Grease, um, oh my god, now I can't even think, Face Off, I've seen, like, endless movies of his, and I think he's a phenomenal actor, he's played a huge role in my life since I was a baby. Yeah, pretty much a baby. And, uh, it, it, it's, oh, amazing, like, oh. Anyway, so the next guy that I met, um, it's actually really funny. I know I've seen him in definitely three things. Charmed, Titanic, and The Phantom. But when I was looking at something, I was like, oh, you've been in other things, and I didn't even realize it. So I met the wonderful Billy Zane. He calls me Captain. He's like, you're welcome, Captain. I'm like, mm hmm. Um, so yeah, Billy Zane's line was another one that was pretty hectic. Um, because everyone was wanting to be with them. Um, but you know, Billy Zane... Yeah, so Billy Zane, I found out, was in Back to the Future. Um, I think the second one. The one with, like, the Jurassic Jaws coming up to eat you. That one. I think it's the second one. Uh, I've seen all three Back to the Future movies. They kind of merge into one after a while. Which is a good thing. But then it's hard to tell which is which. Anyway, so meeting Billy Zane was really cool. So John Travolta and Billy Zane. Ah! I was so happy and so excited. Oh, man. So that was like my dream coming true, meeting both of them. And then tomorrow I'm meeting Alison Sodol and Jason Isaac. Yeah, a little Harry Potter thing tomorrow. Um, as well as um, getting my photos done, I did a little shopping, actually. I did shopping before before Supernova and I just had to pick it up. And I bought something from Bits and Bobs. I think it's called Bits and Bobs something. <laughs> Should have done a separate video for this. Probably will, won't I? But I, oh yeah, Bits and Bobs Geek and Geeks. Ooh, it's cool. I bought a Harry Potter skirt, Prisoner of Azkaban skirt. Ooh. Okay, um, so I can't wait to try it on. I had to figure out how to measure my waist. See, the thing is, as a cosplayer, I don't measure myself, so I don't know this stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> Yay. Um, so I'll try that on in another video. Um, but yeah, so I also got photos done by Creative Eye Imagery. So we'll see how those go. Um, I've never actually worked with John before, but we follow each other and we keep saying that we'll work with each other, but we always keep getting sidetracked and we never do. Um, so that, that that was interesting. Uh, I went to John Travolta's panel too. Sorry. I know it's really loud. I'm sorry. Get in the box. I went to John Travolta's panel as well. I was only there for like 30 minutes, but for that 30 minutes it was quite interesting. Um, he said that all the roles he's played, he likes them, like, from what I heard, he said he doesn't hate any of the roles because each one gives him something different to do, but he really likes the ones that he's not common with, I guess. He likes the comedies and he likes the musicals and the comedy musicals, actually that sounds really offensive, I apologise, the comedy musical mashups, he likes those sort of things. So, so that was great, but yeah, it was, it was pretty cruisy, my feet are killing me. And yeah, <laughs> I think that's all I can say until tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Bye.